Hi folks, today's film is number 11 on the AFI's list of the top 100 films. This is Charlie Chaplin's 1931 classic City Lights, his last silent film, starring his famous character of The Little Trim, and that's the fellow in the suit and the bowler hat McCain. Uh, his character of the tramp is sort of an everyman. He's a poet, he's a dreamer, he's a guy who's always looking for great adventure, who's always falling in love. Um, he, he represents sort of the average person. This is a comedy. This actually ranks as number one on the AFI's list of the top ten romantic comedies of all time. This is a wonderful, a warm picture. Uh, this film, as was the case with most, if not all of Cha Chaplin's films, this film has a plot. It's not just a string of gags tied together. This is a comedy, but underneath there is a tone of seriousness to it, and that really works well. This is um, a wonderful story. This is a film I highly recommend. This is the second film I have seen of Chaplin's work. Uh, the first one was The Gold Rush, which I also highly recommend. Chaplin is amazing because his films, despite the fact that they're silent films and these silent classics are never going to grow old, these will still always be remembered. These are some of the earliest, um, his films are some of the earliest films to have strong plots and strong character development. If you have not seen this film, I recommend it. Chaplin's films are amazing, and I do not, I believe that they are not going to grow old anytime soon, and they will always be remembered as wonderful examples. So, uh, just one word of um, caution, so to speak. The sense of humor in this film is somewhat dark. Uh, if you think about the Looney Tunes cartoons and the concept of comic violence, <coughs> which may seem a little odd to us today, um, that's something to keep in mind in watching this film. It has sort of a, a, a darker tone to the humor. For example, in one scene, Charlie Chaplin's character of the tramp attempts to save a man who's trying to hang himself. Uh, it's kind of a dark setup to a rather funny scene. So uh, that is something to keep in mind with this sort of uh, film, is you have to sort of put yourself in the mindset of the Looney Tunes cartoon with sort of that dark sense of humor. But that is certainly not a detractor of this film. I give this film a very enthusiastic praise, and I believe that this film will remain one of the greatest achievements in film of all time. Again, this is number 11 on the AFI's list of the top 100 films, Charlie Chaplin's City Lights. And that's my review. Thanks. Bye-bye.